The Winter Essex Employment Group is determined to infuse the workforce with more special needs contributors and through their face-to-face -face program, they're ready to roll up their sleeves and break out the elbow grease in order to get that done to provide the labor market with more versatility, diversification, and creativity. The job shadowing opportunity allows participants to explore different career possibilities, gain first-hand knowledge, experience, and expertise about a particular field of interest to them. And for Terry Kuche, a committee member for the Windsor Essex Employment Group, having the ability to form partnerships between employers and the special needs community is a good way to form positive influences and sustainable community connections. Oh, definitely, yes. Yeah, there are many employers that are very impressed with the people that uh, come to them, especially during the job shadowing, and some even, uh, you know, after that, will will hire somebody on because it's been a, a myth. I guess it's been dispelled that a person does have the abilities and and can do the job. And finally, do you have anything else to share about the program itself or the goals it's set out to accomplish? I just think it's a really beneficial program for both people who have, an who have any type of disability and for employers. Um, a person with a disability gives them a good experience in uh, looking at a job that they might be interested in doing. And for employers and, and their staff, it's uh, a good benefit for them to experience working with someone who has a disability. Ryan Issel, a participant in this year's event, Event, who is interested in pursuing a job in the janitorial profession believes that this is a great platform for himself and others like him to dispel some common myths when it comes to their skills and abilities. I think it's valuable is because some people when they come to look at us they say oh Oh, and like that. And at least then we can show that we're hard, good workers in the community. By taking part in this initiative, it allows employers to be recognized as leaders within their community. And for Julie Miles, a human resources advisor, and Rona, thinking outside of the box during the hiring process, has proven to be an effective game plan. Uh, well, you know what, I think that... I think hiring somebody with a person with a disability is the same as hiring anybody else. Um, everybody brings their own experiences, their own skills, um, their own uh, their own lifestyle to work. Um, so I think if we're doing a good interviewing and they fit the job, then they're going to help out our uh, our workplace and uh, we're going to benefit from them. I do know I have read studies as well that people with disabilities often have um, lower absenteeism and higher loyalty. Um, so. You know, I'm sure that's, uh, that's an added benefit as well. The face-to-face -face job shadowing program will take place between May 27th to June 2nd, which also signifies National Access Awareness Week and opening up the lands of both opportunity and exploration will ultimately hold the key to fostering a positive experience for all citizens at large as we attempt to carve out a successful roadmap for everyone as they enter the world of work. For CFTV, from Community Living Windsor, I'm Kevin McShann.